Hello family, welcome back to The Hive. Today's video is all about cloves and the other herbs I have been using in my hair for the past 11 years. I am going to be sharing my number one leave-in spray that I use and love very much. So let's get right into it family. So I have cloves here. I have amla and this is one of my top 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 favorite um, Ayurveda herbs to use. I have rosemary here, fenugreek and our water. So what I am what I usually do, I do not boil my water. I am just gonna steep them and let it stay either overnight or two and then strain it out. Okay family, I have cloves here. Cloves is our first ingredient and it has high levels of antioxidants and nutrients which help boost hair growth, prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth and um, treat dandruff and also stimulate a healthy scalp. So with the cloves, I have two tablespoons let's be generous here okay all right family with our clothes in the water our next ingredient is amla now I love 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 amla amla is packed with vitamin C which we know is good for the skin and hair it removes dandruff and it stimulates hair growth as well as preventing um, hair loss and preventing premature grain so let's get that in our water here so I am I usually use one tablespoon of that Next on our list is fenugreek and oh my goodness, talk about tiny seeds packed with a lot, a lot, a lot of nutrients. So fenugreek has, is rich in vitamin A, vitamin K and vitamin C and this helps to, to prevent hair loss and also prevent regrowth. It also is a condi conditioner. So it helps condition and moisturizes your scalp and your hair and leaves it shiny and soft. Shiny and soft. It also controls scalp inflammation as well. So it does fight dandruff as well. So we are going to use one tablespoon of that and add that to our water. And I like that um, it's steeping already, right? And all right and we come to rosemary i do love rosemary because it has a nice nice aroma i always use it in my stews and in my chicken so i'm consuming rosemary and applying it to my hair as well but also remember that you are what you eat and your hair is what you eat as well so with rosemary some of the properties of rosemary are it stimulates the scalp circulation which helps to grow your hair longer and also it slows down grain of the hair adds some shine to your hair it also reduces dandruff as well so i have here about two teaspoons of rosemary and i'm adding rosemary in there as well for the aroma right because we want it to smell really nice and there's one last ingredient that i'm going to add but i will add it after everything has steeped in and if this is my top 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 ingredient which is menthol crystals and i love the way menthol feels on your hair um and you can as soon as you apply it you can feel your hair your scalp breathing and just massage it in the hair but because these are menthol crystals i will add them last and just um a few crystals 
to boost the synergistic effect of all these Ayurveda herbs working together. If you don't have mental crystals, you can also use peppermint essential oil or um, you can use the peppermint leaves as well. And I love that this rosemary came from my garden. So if you can get the rosemary plant, you can just plant them and then harvest it and dry it and store it. Then you'll have tons of rosemary around to use every single day. Now, I will be putting links um, in the description so that you can purchase them online. So again, we have the cloves, we have amla, rosemary, and fenugreek. And our last ingredient will be the menthol, which I will add after this tea has sipped for at least 24 hours. So I am going to cover it here. And give it a good shake. And what I like to do, I just like to put it in a dark place in my kitchen, on my kitchen counter there, so that it can sit and let all the nutrients and vitamins into the water, which we will spray on our hair. Okay, family, so our clothes, tea, water is ready here. So I do have clothes in here, the fenugreek, amla, and um, some rosemary to add a, a nice aroma in there and ideally I wanted to leave this out for 24 hours but life happens and we left for a summer tournament so I did I have had this have for probably about 48 hours so I'm sure this is really 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 potent right so then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna strain it um, I have my cheese bag here I'm gonna put it in my funnel and we will strain Ideally, you want to add about one to three percent of the weight of whatever you're using. So I have 900 ml here, 950 LC, which is equivalent to 950 grams. Okay, so I have tied my uh, measuring spoon here, and I'm gonna use one percent of my methyl crystals. So one percent should give me about 9.5 grams. Don't mind my measuring spoon. I use it for a lot of formulations. And so I'm looking to add about 10. I think I should get 9.5 on here. So 9.5 grams of our menthol crystals, right? So the menthol crystals can be used up to 8% in your water or formulation. So um, depending on how minty you want it or the cooling effect, this provides a really cooling and soothing effect. And when you spray it on your hair, you get that cool sensation, right? And it also integrates the scalps and stimulates the scalps as well. So how I got the 9.5 grams was with my um, my cloth solution here was 950 
milliliters, which is approximately 950 grams. I did one divided by 100 and times my 950 gives me 9.5 grams. And you could actually go exactly 9.5 if you have the skill that measures it, or you could go turn because you can um, approximate it, round it off, right? And because this is a cold solution, you just wait till the, all the crystals dissolve. To aid it dissolve, you can just pour a little bit of the clove solution and other crystals and just kind of warm it up to melt faster. But I'm okay with leaving it like this. So I will just show you how I apply it. So that's it guys. So to apply it, this is uh, my clothes that I have. I do apply this mostly once a month because remember I know how um, my hair feels, what my hair needs, so I have fine-tuned my routine. If you're just starting out, just make sure you do a patch test as well, spritz it on your hand and leave it on for at least 24 hours to make sure you don't get a reaction or anything of that sort. You can also try it once a week or daily if you are looking for excessive, excessive hair growth as well, right? So, um, money bees, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, share it, give it a thumbs up so that we can all jo enjoy hair growth and flaunt bad hair, girl, flaunt, just flaunt bad hair and enjoy your hair journey as well, right? Hello family, just a quick update. So for the sake of the video, I decided to use my clothes water for every other week. So two weeks instead of the regular monthly that I do. And I will just show you the results here. So this is my, this is the sixth week, right? Three, four. Every other week, guys. 
So there you have it. Do give it a try and let me know how it's working for you. Come back to the comment section and share your experience. I will love to hear from you. And click that notification bell if you haven't done so already. What are you waiting for, boo? Go do that right now and make sure you subscribe as well. And if you haven't watched my hair journey, I will leave the um, link there so you can watch it or get to know me a little bit and watch that other video as well. Until we meet in the next one, have a blessed day. Stay blessed. Ciao.